Welcome back to another video, this is Ebay and today I'm going to be breaking down and explaining operator bands in Rainbow Six Siege. I've been receiving a lot of comments lately in regards to which operators should be banned on certain maps. Therefore, I'm going to run through and explain my thought process behind operator bands, hopefully allowing you to have a better understanding of them. Before I continue, 80.3% of you watching this video right now are not subscribed to the channel, so if you enjoy Rainbow Six Siege gameplay, guides and tips and tricks, please consider subscribing, it would be greatly appreciated. Operator bans are a fairly new addition to Siege, allowing each team to ban one attacker and one defender. This means two attackers and two defenders will be unplayable and removed for the duration of the game. This can greatly affect gameplay and the game's outcome. In my personal opinion, operator bans are dependent on five factors. The first factor being the map. Certain operators thrive on certain maps. A good understanding and knowledge of these operators will greatly benefit your team in the ban phase. The second factor is whether you start on attack or defense. You want to ban an operator which will give you the best advantage in the first three rounds. Being 3-0 down can have a huge psychological effect on the enemy team and many players will have given up. Just bear in mind that you too will have to play with these bands when switching sides later in the game. Thirdly, your band should be based on your team's overall objective or goal. Do you plan on a heavy roam? Ban Jackal, maybe Lion or Dockaby. If all defenders plan to sit on site, don't waste your ban on Jackal. Instead, use it to ban a more useful operator, for instance, a hard breacher, to stop objective walls being opened. Perhaps on attack you plan to play objective and plant, Mira, Echo or Maestro would be useful defenders to ban in this situation. Fourth, counter or tactical bans. If for instance the enemy team bans Thatcher and you're attacking CCTV and Cash on Clubhouse, it would be in your best interest to ban Kate. This is often called or referred to as a tactical ban. It's possible to open the CCTV wall with Kate still in play, but this relies heavily on Maverick. Cade's electric claws can be difficult to locate or spot, especially with their large radius, allowing them to be placed near reinforcements and not directly on them. Although the defending team would still have a bandit to trick the walls, his batteries have to be placed directly on the floor next to the reinforcements. This can be countered in many ways, going below with a nade or Zofia impacts, maybe a Capitao firebolt through the window to stop him tricking, or by directly mavericking the wall. Fifth, and finally, in certain situations, it can be reasonable to ban an operator based on the team you're playing against if there are no other suitable bans. These are often referred to as target bans. If a player on the enemy team is known for playing an operator very well, it might be in your best interest to remove that operator from play. This could be the likes of Ash, Blackbeard, Vigil, etc. Some common attacker bans to see at high plat, diamond and champion level would be Montaigne. He can be incredibly difficult to play against if he's used correctly. Uh, he's very difficult to kill, can easily burn up defender's utility and he can relay information and defender positions uh, so he's pretty much an invincible drone. He can also help cover or protect the plant and his teammates. Uh, Jackal denies roamers and forces defenders to remain in sight and anchor. Blackbeard difficult to challenge on windows and repel, the shield protects him from headshots. Thermite can breach reinforced walls creating large lines of sight, greatly exposing defenders anchoring in objective. Thatcher, he can easily clear defenders utility within range such as bandit batteries, ADSs, traps etc. Hibana, she is able to open multiple hatches or reinforced walls. Maverick, is able to counter bandit tricking, electrified walls and hatches. He can also create numerous and particular lines of sight. Nomad can be used to counter or slow down flanks as well as deterring defenders from aggressive runouts. Some common defender bans to see a similar rank would be Echo. He has invisible yokai drones which are able to deny the plant. His yokai burst disorientates players by disrupting their screen which affects their vision. Uh, Maestro, his cameras have the ability to see through smoke and deal damage. This can be used to destroy attacker utility and drones. Uh, his cameras also require significant utility to be destroyed and he has two of these. Valkyrie, she has three highly versatile cameras which can be difficult to spot inside or outside the building, making them great for information gathering. Mira, one way window, very difficult to push due to the possibility of being pre-fired or see forward. Legion, he has goo mines which are invisible and deal damage over time. You are unable to sprint. The sound cue can also reveal your position and they can deny plant. 
Kate allows walls on hatches to be electrified from a safe distance. His claws can also be hidden and more difficult to spot than bandit batteries. Kavira, an interrogation can reveal all attacker positions. She can't be tracked by Jacko's ability and she's normally only chosen in high ranks to distract or waste attacker's time. Clash, similar to Montaigne, she can be difficult to play against. She has the ability to slow down attackers within range whilst dealing damage. She can also be used to gain valuable information safely from behind her shield, like the number of attackers, direction of push, etc. Another key point I would like to highlight is that bans are there to be used, so don't waste them by selecting no ban. To conclude, I recommend asking yourself the following points when banning operators. What map are you playing? Are you attacking or defending first? What is your team's objective? Do you need to tactical ban? Is there a possible target ban? Hopefully guys enjoyed this video. If you find it useful, please leave a like. It would be greatly appreciated. If we can get the video to 1000 likes, I'll list my personal ban recommendations for each map. If you happen to have any further questions, please leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try my best to respond to each one. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so. Keep up to date with all my latest videos. This is you, bye, and I shall see you guys in my next video.